guys, welcome. If you don't know who I am, my name is Do with Do Dots and Designs. I'm a creative preneur, business strategist, and furniture artist. And what I want to teach you today is how to take that laminate furniture, that plastic looking furniture that you find that you're looking at and you're like, can I paint that? I'm here to tell you, you can. So I've got some products I'm going to get together and I'm going to show you how you can easily paint over the laminate furniture. Okay, to start with, you're gonna need some supplies. The first thing you wanna need to, is protection. And you're gonna get some gloves and you're gonna protect your hands because when you're cleaning furniture, the cleaner and the solvents and the different things that we use to actually take the dirt and grime off can be caustic and it can cause some irritation to your skin. So it's always good to protect yourself. Me being the retired nurse I am, I love gloves so much. Okay. Ah, oh, we love that sound, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna start by cleaning the surface, the laminate surface first, because most of us know when we get old furniture, it's gonna be dirty and grimy and it's used before, so it's gonna have all kinds of things on the surface. Anything from gum to Kool-Aid to, you know, kids, especially if it's a it's a cute little piece like this uh, French Provincial and you wanna make sure that it's very, very clean before we start on it. So I'm gonna take a product by Dixie Bell called White Lightning and I take it and I mix it in warm water. And the recipe is two heaping tablespoons to a gallon of warm water. You can kind of adjust the recipe as needed. I actually put it in my spray bottle. You can mix it in a bowl and use it with a rag, wipe it on, wipe it off. I like to mix it in a sprayer because it's just easier. So I mixed up my solution. I'm gonna take my paper towels and then I'm gonna spray liberally over the surface and then I'm gonna wipe it back. And you may have to do this a couple of times to get it clean, that's fine. But you're gonna notice you're gonna get a little bit of dirt off. You may not get a lot, but you're getting things that you don't see on the surface and that's important that we remove all of that stuff, okay? Once your surface is clean and you no longer are wiping back on your uh, paper towel and you don't see anything coming back, that means it's clean. Now, once it's dried, it's not ready to paint still. You wanna go a step further and you wanna remove any of the residual of the cleaner off the white lightning. So I take a bottle of water, and this is just my mister that I use for painting, spray over it, take your paper towel again, and then wipe it back clean. Make sure there's no residual from that cleaner because the cleaner, if left on the surface, could react with whatever you're painting it with and cause it not to adhere. So make sure you've got a really clean, nice piece ready to go. Okay, we are ready to go ahead and start prepping this for paint. And notice that this is a shiny surface, which means it's slick. That's what laminate is, it's a very slick surface and you can't put paint on a slick surface and expect it to stick unless you do the preparation and cleaning it. And the next step is applying a bonding agent. And the product that I like to use is Dixie Bell Slick Stick. It is a great bonding agent. It bonds uh, to glossy and other hard shiny surfaces to allow effective painting. So it's actually like a gripper for this and then your paint grips on top of it. So what you do is you open up your slick stick this is a brand new jar that I have here, okay? And then I want you to take something and stir this with. I know with Dixie Bell paints, you can actually just uh, shake it and go. Because this is something that's gonna be used as a bonding agent, I wanna make sure that you get everything out of the bottom of this jar and incorporate it and mix it well before you apply it on top of your paint. You can see that it's very creamy. It's actually a really nice product and I'm pretty sure it's gonna go on really, really nice and probably would even cover up some of the scratches or other things that could get um, into the laminate surfaces that can cause your paint to look ugly. I think this will fill in the holes nicely. So we're gonna continue to stir that up. Here's a little tip for you. See what I'm using? It looks like a popsicle stick. Let me show you what I use. Senior tongue depressors. This is a nurse's best friend. You can buy these, they're like 500 count. You can buy them on Amazon for pennies what you pay for craft sticks. Super valuable to learn this information for this. So I wanted to share that with you. 
Okay, I like to use just a general all-purpose brush and Dixie Bill Mini is like one of my favorites, just especially applying any top coats or any type of product like the Slick Stick. So I'm just gonna dip it in and then I'm gonna start painting the surface. And I'm gonna start from one end and work to the other because this is a long surface. And probably I'm gonna put two coats on this. I'm gonna put two really thin coats because I want it to dry well in between coats. And it goes on super smooth. I like the way it feels with my brush. You can feel how smooth it is with your brush because it your brush just glides. Very nice. Okay. I'm gonna use nice long strokes. I want my base coat or even the slick stick that is the gripper agent to actually be really smooth because I think that affects your paint finish. Whatever you put on the bottom layer of your finish is gonna reflect through the top. So make sure you do a good job and make it a nice smooth coat all the way across. I'm gonna use a slick stick also on the drawers. These are plastic, which are slick. See how shiny they are? Yeah, this is gonna work really well. And once you're done, you wanna make sure that you clean out your brush well, especially because it has slick stick. Simply, I just run it under, uh, I, like, I like to use just a cool water. I don't use any soap or anything on my brushes. The brushes I use are synthetic brushes and they usually wash out really nicely. You can use them over and over again, but I find just gently rubbing with your fingers along your brush and continue to do this until it's clear. And then you wanna let the water run inside your brush as well because a lot of the paint gets stored and it gets absorbed up into the hub of the brush. So you wanna make sure you get all of that out. So let your water run. Just give it a good rub. Just keep massaging until you get it all out. Just wring the water out. Give it a good shake a couple of times. When your brush is clean, it's ready to go. Okay, after the first coat, I allow this to dry for two to three hours. It's been actually about two hours. I recoated it. It's dried another two hours. So what you wanna do is you wanna let this set overnight, 24 hours to really cure and harden. And then I want you to come back and I want you to do the scratch test. The scratch test is where you scratch the surface with your nail or something hard and see if it comes off. That lets you know that you've got a great bonding primer on that plastic, on that slick surface, on that glass, on whatever you're gonna put it on. And that means that your paint is gonna to bond to it. And that's all you need to do. Now your piece is ready for paint. What I do recommend is, however, is using Dixie Bell paints to paint your furniture. And thank you for joining me today. And I'm gonna pop all these links down below so that you can go down and you can find the products that I use for today's video. And I would love for you to hit the subscribe button. Subscribe and hit the little bell. That way you'll be notified every time I come live and do a video and share more products with you. And I'd love to see you over in the Art of Painting Furniture, which is my private subscription group where I share everything. Those links are down below. Thanks for joining, guys. Happy painting.